Hey you guys, so today we are going to attack the big monster, which is all of my lip products, which, uh, here they are. These are all of my lip products right here. We are going to go through them and see, um, what we can declutter today. Um, by the way, welcome to my channel. Um, today, as you can see, we are going to be attacking my lipstick, um, collection here and we are going to try try my best to declutter some of my lip products but it's going to be really hard because I love 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 all of my makeup and I hate to see anything go but I'm just one person one pair of lips I'm never going to be able to use all of this so yeah stay tuned and let's get started you guys that I do have a little bit more lip products these are all of my Jeffree Star lip products that I have here and I also have the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and pillow pillow talk and um, these are gonna stay just the way they are I am not going to be decluttering any of those um, and then I also have these down here and these are all of my um, ColourPop and Disney Villains collection. I have all of the lip glosses and I have all the lipsticks right there. I also have some Tarte. Um, this is a combination of lip gloss and a lipstick. And these came out, I think maybe like a couple years ago for Christmas. Um, I also have the Trolls lip gloss here from MAC. I also have the, um, I think this is the Ariana Grande lip gloss from Mark, for MAC. I also have some Flower Beauty lipsticks. I have a L'Oreal um, Color Rich Shine lipstick. And I have a Maybelline red lipstick as well. And these are going to stay in my collection. I am not decluttering any of those. But I figure I will show you guys that I also have these as well. But they're not going anywhere. So let's get started with the decluttering. Okay, you guys. So I do have my lip products separated into like a few uh, different categories. I have all my lipsticks. I have all my liquid lipsticks. I have my mimis. And I also have my lip glosses. But the first two bins that we are going to attack is a little bit of random things. These are some of the things that I've bought more recently. Um, and so we're going to go through them quickly because I don't think that I'm going to be declaring much from um, these two bins. So we're just going to go as quickly as possible. I'm just going to grab and go. Um, so the first few things here are these um, Too Faced Metallic Sparkle Lipsticks. These are from their collection. Um, I think it was their anniversary collection. They came out maybe like a couple years ago. Um, and so these products, I found them at uh, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I can't remember. But I decided to go with the red and the pink. And I'm just going to show you really quickly because this is going to be a very long video. <laughs> the packaging is just so stinking adorable. I mean, it's just so freaking cute. So I have those. And of course, those are not going anywhere. They are newer to my collection. So I am keeping both of these. I'm hoping that one day I can find the eyeshadow palette. Um, but for now, this is what I have. So I am going to keep. I also have a few of these um, Tutti Frutti um, lip glosses. I mentioned in my uh, previous videos that I am in love with this Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection. And so I have a couple of shades here. I have Yummy Rummy, Home Slice, and Who Gives a Fig. And of course, I'm going to be keeping all three of those. I also have a couple of MAC lipsticks here. I have the Liquid Lipstick in... So Me, which is like a pretty mauve shade. I showed um, this color in a video. I think it was like my makeup haul. Um, and then I also got this one for free um, in that haul, which is like a tiny one. And it's really cute. It's like a nude. And this is in the Velvet Teddy. And I believe this color is very popular. So of course I'm going to keep both of those. I also have a couple of Wet n Wild lip glosses here. This is from their new collection. Um, this is from the um, 
my Melody collection that came out not that long ago. So I have the uh, liquid lipstick, which is like the purple shade here, and it's called Goth Girl. And I have the lip gloss, which is like a like a purple pink glittery shade, and it's called Little 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 Miss Punk. And of course, I haven't used this yet, so I'm gonna keep both of those. Um, some of the things that I am going to discard, I talked about these in my black owned beauty video that I recently uploaded. Uh, I am going to be discarding all of these. I mentioned in that video that these lip glosses, these are the Fenty lip paints. Um, these are amazing. They stay in your lips all day. Um, they're matte but they're comfortable these are amazing my issue with these is that they last 12 months and that's fine that's perfect i'm glad that they put an expiration date on them but the point is that two of these these two right here no actually these three right here are less than 12 months old and they've already expired I bought this one in December of last year. This one is under under drag, under dag, and I got this one in December of last year. We are in September, and these are already expired. And I am really, really disappointed and really upset by the fact that they did not last the twelve month shelf um life that they're supposed to have. This one I've had for a couple of years, so I know that you know this one um it's fine if it went bad like i've had it for a couple of years but these i've had it for less than 12 months and they're already bad they smell really bad and i just don't feel comfortable putting them on my lips so these are definitely going in the trash um i also have one of these arclo uh beauty lip glosses these this is a brand by a, a really famous youtuber um her name is rachel i'll leave her information here somewhere um and she created her own beauty line and these lip glosses are amazing the packaging is so cute and so different and i love these they are so comfortable so hydrating so beautiful i just i love them so of course i'm keeping um let's see this one i got in a uh, Boxy Charm box, and this is a liquid lipstick in the shade the Easy Cell. Um, I haven't personally tried this one on my lips yet, but my daughter did try it, and she didn't like the way that it felt. She says that it felt way too dry, and it cracked her lips. So um, I'm going to give them give this a try myself just to see how um, it feels. If maybe it was just her or what. Um, but if I don't like it, then this is going in the trash. I have a couple of the Beauty Bakery, um, lip products here. I have two of her liquid lipsticks, um, uh, in red shades, and I have her lip gloss. These products are amazing. If you haven't tried them, definitely give them a try because they are amazing the liquid lipsticks stay on your lips all day all day and the lip gloss smells so good they are really really good i definitely recommend um i have a couple of the color pop and becky g lipsticks so i have this one in little black dress and i have this one in fee five faux um i love becky g she's one of my favorite um music people <laughs> music artists um so anything the color pop has released with becky g i have bought and this is the shade fee five faux it's like a pretty like burnt orange reddish type of shade i haven't used it yet um but i do like it i wish that the packaging of the lipstick itself was you know different maybe like in conjunction to the collection or something but it's just their typical lipstick case and then we have a little black dress here which again is like their normal component but it's like a dark red so again i can't wait to use these i do like the ColourPop formula for the lipsticks i think that they're creamy 
and comfortable on the lips. I have a couple of Kat Von D lipsticks here that I purchased at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls a while ago. So I have the shade Mercy, which is this one right here. And I also have the shade Vampira, which is this one right here. And they are very similar, just one's darker than the other. So here is what the shade looks like. This is in Vampira. And that's the shade right there. It's like a dark red. And I just love her components. They're just so beautiful. And then this is the shade Mercy. Which is more like a purple. But they are very similar. Uh, I am going to keep both of these because I love the components. And I do love the lipstick formula. I also have more MAC products here. I have two of the MAC and Aaliyah collection lip glosses here. I have the shade At Your Best You Are, which is the dark brown. And then I have the Brooklyn Born, which is like this pretty gold. And I have the Delish, Delish shade um, lipstick, which is like this pretty um, rose gold type of shade and I believe this was a gift with purchase so that's what it looks like it's very pretty actually so I'm gonna be keeping those I also have this one from Pixie. it's such a pretty shade it's called coral bang I've used it before it's really pretty it's like an orange red but it's more orange so I'm definitely gonna keep this it's really good um, Pixie liquid lipsticks are really 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 good so definitely keeping here's the other liquid lipstick from Mac this is in fashion legacy I talked about this lip color in my um, makeup haul uh, video that I uploaded recently. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it because um, I talk about these and I swatch them and everything. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Um, I have a few of the... I have a few of the um, Lion King um, lip products from uh, Sir John's collection. So I have the crayon which is called Hakuna Matata and it's this pretty- oh no! It's like melted and it broke off but <laughs> it's like this pretty nude shade. It's like a pretty everyday. It's like a lip balm almost so I should put that in my purse and use it all the time. I'm gonna put it to the side. Um, I also have one of the lipsticks which is like in an orange type of shade and it's so beautiful. I have used this in the past and it's really pretty, very comfortable. And I have a liquid lipstick and this one is in Romantic Atmosphere and it's just like a pretty red. I don't know if this collection is still available anywhere. I bought mine through the HSN website, um, but I don't regret it. It's a beautiful collection. By the way, the lipstick is called Lion's Den, so I'm definitely keeping. I have a few of these uh, CoverGirl and Katy Perry lip glosses, and this one is in ninth life and i bought these and i like them because the cat is a cat and of course we are a cat family in this house we are cat ladies so i decided to buy a lot of the shades because of that but i do think that the lip um products are pretty pretty good so that's what that one looks like it's a very pretty um red the only thing that um stops me from wearing things like this is that because it is a gloss and it's red I always think that I'm gonna get it in my lips so I mainly keep them because of the packaging so that's the reason why I'm keeping them <laughs> um let's see I have this lip gloss from the newest or one of the newest um wet and wild collections which you can tell um it was on sale at Walmart already <laughs> but this one is in vip entrance which is like a pretty um peachy type of gloss um i can tell you that these glosses are so so pretty 
they are very glossy and they look really nice on the lips so i definitely recommend them if you can find them i have another one right here and this one is in good vibes only which is more like a pink and gold glitter and i do love those so i'm definitely keeping oh, this is not supposed to be here um i have a few of the Too faced lip glosses these are in these are the high shine sparkling lip glosses from Too Faced I have three of them here so this is what they look like packaging first of all amazing beautiful um so we have the first color here which is social butterfly which is like a uh which is like a light orange with gold glitter then we have race in the roof which is like a pretty uh, dark pink with silver glitter and lastly we have all the stars which is like a light pink with gold and purple glitter um, and these are very gritty on the lips but I do love them I love the way that they look I don't necessarily like the way that they feel but I do like the way that they look and the packaging is beautiful so I am gonna keep these I have this lipstick I can't remember what it's from it's called disobey and it's like a <clears throat> like an orange type of shade um, I've had this lipstick for a while. It is very creamy though. It's a very creamy lipstick, but again, I don't know what brand this is from. Let's see. Oh, it's from Makeup Revolution. Okay, so it's a Makeup Revolution lipstick. It's very creamy. It's very pretty. I love the packaging, so I am going to keep it. I have the Pure and Barbie lip gloss. This is really, really pretty. I'm not sure if it's sold anymore. What is it called? girl gloss um, I'm not sure if it's sold anymore but I do like it so I am gonna keep it I have two of the Fenty gloss bombs here uh, I have sweet mouth which is this pretty light pink and I have fussy which is like their most popular color I do love these in fact I'm wearing this one right now I do love these so I am gonna keep on that note I also have the Fenty Beauty little Christmas um, collection of the lip glosses here and of course I am keeping all of them I have uh, two of the Too Faced um, lipsticks from their peach collection so I have Muy Caliente which is a red and I have Sure Thing which is like a nude and I got both of these at TJ Maxx and as you can see I haven't even used it still brand new so beautiful i love the packaging i haven't tried them on the lips yet so i'm not sure how the formula is but i've heard really good things about them i love how the colors are both on the bottom and on the top and then this is what the nude one looks like um i think i just swatched the nude one i haven't really used it on my lips but that's what the new one looks, nude one looks like it's a very pretty um i do recommend these if you can find them at tj maxx and marshall's i haven't seen them around my area in a while but i do recommend recommend them if you see them they're very pretty i have a few of the sephora collection um lipsticks here so i have this one it's called made in italy and it has like horses and this one which is called spin number 41 is the one with the horses and I have this one which is called Love Love, which is number seven. Um, and they are both, no, not both. This one is matte and this one is metal. So here is what this one looks like. That is so pretty. Oh, I remember why I bought this one. Yeah, that's so pretty. Hope you guys can see that. It's so pretty. Um, and then this one, I bought it because the packaging reminds me of my favorite poem of all time. It's called Footprints. Um, if you haven't read that poem, definitely read it. Especially if you're going through something. It's a poem that really gets my spirit up all the time. But this is what the color looks like and it's beautiful. And this is supposed to be a matte, but it's actually a very creamy and um, 
glossy type of lipstick so I love both of those I also have this one this one's called somewhere in Spain number four and it has like the windows and this one is supposed to be a cream which it is it feels very creamy and it's like a nude it's like a perfect everyday nude so definitely keeping those I love them very very much um, I have another ColourPop lipstick here. This one is called 21 Questions. This is another red. As you can tell, I love my reds, but this is more like a burnt orange. So, I am going to keep it for now. I do like the color. Um, I have this one from Black Radiance. If you haven't watched my Black Owned Beauty video, definitely go check it out. I am so proud of that video. And I talked about this lipstick in that video. It's very, very pretty. And you can find this at the drugstore, at Target, or Walmart. And these are really pretty. So definitely recommend. Definitely keeping. Um, I also have two liquid lipsticks from the crayon case, which of course I'm keeping. I also talked about these in that video. I have the Pure and um, Barbie collection lipstick. This one is called Classic and it has the glitter on the side and it's a pretty uh, nude shade. Love this lipstick and I love the components, so I'm definitely keeping. I have a Tarte lip balm, I believe, and this one is in rose. And I don't know why I don't have this in my purse, but I am definitely putting this in my purse. I'm definitely keeping. Um, I have a Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss here, and this one is in a creamer. This is a newer purchase for me. I recently bought the palette, the Latte 2 palette, and it came with a lip gloss so here's what it looks like i love her products very very much and i can't wait to try this on my lips but it looks amazing so i'm definitely keeping i have another one of the um wet and wild my melody collection lip glosses and this one is an oh my so i'm definitely keeping um this was in my um boxy charm and of course i'm gonna try it on my lips before i decide what i'm gonna do with it um i have a couple of cat von d liquid lipsticks here of course i have a red which is called malice and i have this one and mother so i'm definitely gonna keep this i love the cat von d lip uh, products that are pretty pretty good so i'm kept keeping that um i have a um two faced um lip gloss in a melon recents which is the one with the watermelon cap love so i'm definitely keeping i have another one of the oh. So I have this lipstick, um, I believe I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago, it's called Daydreamer, and it's from, it says Beauty Partners, but I'm not sure if that's the name of the brand. It's a very pretty nude shade, it's like a pinky nude. It's very pretty and it kind of looks like the ones from Sephora, except for that the packaging is a little bit bigger, but I am going to keep it. I do like the color, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I have a couple more things from um, Pixie, so I have lip gloss, it's like a glittery lip gloss, and I have another one of the liquid lipsticks. Um, so this one's called Really Rose. And this one is called Cake. I'm definitely keeping. I love Pixie products. Um, I have a L'Oreal um, Gold Mirage lip gloss here. And this one is in Rose Quartz. And this is brand new actually, so I'm keeping. I have a Revlon and Ashley Graham um, lip gloss here. And this one is in Into the Bloom. And I love the cap, it has a glittery and it has like her signature right there. It's very pretty, so I am going to keep it. Um, I have this uh, Victoria's Secret Lip Oil in Blush Crush, which is like a pretty pink, so I'm definitely keeping that. 
I had a couple of MAC lipsticks here. So I have the Selena lipstick. I have the Selena lipstick, which is called um, Como La Flor. And this is from her first collection with MAC. And um, this is the only thing that I picked up from that collection, which I'm kicking my butt for. But I was kind of new to the whole MAC world. <laughs> at that time so this is the only thing that I picked up from that collection but I don't regret it I love it and then I have a trolls lipstick here and this one is in frost which is like a pretty pink that's what it looks like and I'm keeping both of these I love the packaging on both of these so so much I have a couple more of those um covergirl and Katy Perry lip glosses and of course I'm keeping them because I love the caps Here's another one, or another two of the Art Club Beauty lip glosses. Very pretty. I have the red and the pink. They are so good. Um, I have a few lipsticks here. So this one is from Lipstick Queen, and this one is in Processed Metal. And it's like a purple type of shade. That's what it looks like. I believe I got this one at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, so I am keeping, I have a Kevin Kwan one that I also got at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's a pretty nude. And this one is called, uh, Soft Rose Pink. <laughs> and then I have a Elizabeth Arden lipstick in Red Door Red, which I got in an Ipsy bag a long time ago, actually. And this lipstick, it's such a beautiful red. I love it. I actually wore it to Costa Rica many, many times, so definitely keeping. I have a Gigi Gorgeous a lip gloss here that I got at an Ipsy bag. Definitely keeping. I have a Kylie gloss in Diva, which I'm definitely keeping. I have a Victoria's Secret lip gloss in pinky which I'm keeping um, and then I have another Victoria's Secret gloss in mango glow definitely keeping I have a few lipstick queen lipsticks here so I have this one which is called Eden and I love the package it's red and of course red lipstick I also got these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls I have the frog prince which is green but it turns into like a pretty like pink shade definitely keeping and i also have the jungle queen which is like a pretty orange which i got at um either tj maxx or marshall's also have viva glam 3 from mac and it's a pretty like dark reddish brownish type of lipstick which i love that was one of my first lipsticks from mac I also have this one from the Aladdin and MAC collection. This one's called Princess Incognito, which is like a nude, so I'm definitely keeping. Um, I have this lipstick from a company called Mellow, and this one's called Posh, which is like a pretty nude type of shade, which is that one right there. It's actually very pretty, so I am going to keep that. Um, I have two from Too Faced, so I have Double Bubble and I have Unicorn Tears, and this, are, this is what their old packaging used to look like. Um, I think I got both of these at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, so I am going to keep both of these because I do love them. I also have this Maybelline uh, Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, um, and it's red. It's in pioneer red so i'm definitely keeping i don't think i've tried this one on my lips just yet that's what it looks like i love the packaging it's like stilettos so i'm keeping i have another one of the um no actually this one is revlon and sophia carson so this is the sophia red uh, matte liquid lipstick and these are supposed to be matte liquid lipsticks but they're actually very comfortable on the lips they don't feel matte at all i also have this essence lip gloss which i'm actually going to give this one to my daughter i think she'll enjoy that one better 
Um, I also have this one from Wet n Wild. This one's called Clothes Off. These lipsticks are so good. If you haven't tried them yet, definitely try them because they are beautiful and this color in specific is my everyday color so close off yes for sure keeping i have a mac lip gloss from the aladdin collection and this one is called jewels on jewels which is like a pretty um dark like an orangey type of color um and then i have the mac and selena liquid lipstick in the shade uh, Dame un beso, which is so pretty. It's like a it's like a dark pink. It's really pretty on the lips, and I love the formula, so definitely keep it. Okay, guys, so I think that this is going to be the last basket that we're going to go through on this video, because if not, it's going to be like a million of hours long. <laughs> so let's get to it. So I have two of these little kits here. Hold on, let me reach. So these are the Revlon and Ashley Graham little kits that um, Walmart was selling for a while. And so this one comes with uh, two of the ultra matte uh, lip products and also a lip liner. And the lip products are in uh, Your Everything, which is the darker one, so Your Everything. And then Better Than Ever, which is the lighter one. I'm not sure if this if these kits are sold anymore. I got mine for like $7 because Walmart had them on sale. Um, but I think that they sold them all. And I don't know if they're still selling them. I don't... I'm really not sure so but yeah I have these that I bought recently I also have this one this one comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss I love the lipstick packaging it's like a glitter and then it also comes with a lip liner um the lipstick is called your dreams which is like a red and then the lip gloss is called fiercely fab and the lip liner is called beyond beautiful and these are all red shades so um, the pretty thing about the lip gloss is that it has glitter in it, so I definitely love these and I'm definitely keeping. Um, then I have these two collections here from Colourpop, and of course I am keeping both of these. This is the uh, Sophia Nygaard and Colourpop collection. So Sophia is a YouTuber. And um, she does a lot of different types of videos, mainly testing different products. Um, and so she created a line with ColourPop because she did a video in which she uh, melted all of her lipsticks that she had and created one shade. And actually one of the shades is in here. That shade that she created is one of the shades in here. Let me see if I can find it. So I believe that shade was this one, which is Bury Me in Lipsticks. And it's like this pretty, like, it's like this pretty, like, raspberry type of shade. So she created this shade by melting all of her lipsticks together. <laughs> and that is the shade that she came out with. So she got to create different shades with ColourPop. So she created this one, which is called Fred, which is like a red. She created this one, which is called Screamer, which is like a dark purple. Um, this one is called Brucey, which is like a green, but it's like a pretty green. I think that this is a very wearable green, in my opinion. I haven't tried it on my lips yet, but I'm dying to. Um, I also, or it also came with this one, which is called Mrs. Nor Morris. Norris. This is Norris, which um, she just got married, and that's her husband's last name. And then Bikini Bottom, which is like a nude. Um, and so, yeah, I decided to buy the whole kit, and I can't wait to try these on my lips. I haven't really tried any of them on my lips, so I will definitely keep it. I also have this little kit from um, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. She's also a YouTuber. And this is the Twinkling Lights um, collection. It comes with all sorts of different shades. It comes with a gold, a red, a dark nude, and then like a pinky nude. Um, and these are all lip glosses. So I am definitely keeping. 
Um, I also have this little palette from e.l.f. This is the Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. This was actually a gift with purchase um, on one of the last times I ordered from the e.l.f. website. Um, I've been dying to play with this, so I am going to keep it. I, I've actually been wanting this for a while, so it's pretty cool that I got it as a free gift with purchase. Um, I also have this bundle from the Becky G Hola Chola collection with Colourpop and this is the Traviesa bundle and it comes with the lip liner and the liquid lipstick and this color is beautiful. I have a video where I tried this collection out. I'll link it above and below and you guys can see the color is beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping. Um, I have this Urban Decay Vice lipstick palette that I bought a long time ago, but you guys, I really don't use it that often. I should pull it out and use it more frequently. Um, but this is what it looks like. I think that all the colors are so beautiful. I definitely need to play with it a, a, a lot more. Um, it definitely looks like it's dried out, but if I dig in there, yeah, they come back to life. So that color that I tried is called Blackmail, and it's so beautiful. I definitely need to play with this palette a lot more, so definitely keeping. I have another bundle here from uh, Colourpop and Becky G. This is from the uh, Viva collection that they did, and I believe these are all lip glosses. It comes with three of them, and they're more like in the nude family. Um, I think this is a liquid lipstick actually, or they're, these are both liquid lipsticks and this is a lip gloss, so I'm definitely keeping. I actually enjoyed this collection quite a lot. Um, I also have more lip products from Colourpop and Becky G here. So these are all um, a mixture of liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So we have this one, which is called Chola. Which is like a dark, like a burnt orange. And this is like a lipstick. I'm keeping. Then we have Secreto. And this is like a nude. And this is also a liquid lipstick. We also have Miha, which is like a more nude, nude than the last one <laughs> I'm keeping. It's a liquid lipstick as well. This one's called Besame. This is like an orange red and it's also a matte liquid lip. And then we have Flor. And this is like a um, like a light orangey type of shade, and this is also a matte liquid lip. <clears throat> okay, and then I have this one here from Winky Lux, and I believe I got this one at Forever Twenty One, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't tried it on my lips. I totally forgot that I had this actually, so I'm glad that I'm going through these. But this is like a pretty watermelon type of shade. So, love. So, I'm definitely keeping. I haven't tried much from the Wink Winky Lux um, company, so I'm definitely excited to try that. Um, I have this one here from Lipstick Queen, and as you can see, it was $7.99, and this one's called Hello Sailor. Oh, and this is like their um, lip glosses that change colors, so... This is the blue with the glitter. I'm so excited. I love lip Lipstick Queen, so I'm definitely keeping. This one is the Frog Prince, which I actually got at Marshall's as well for $7.99. This one changes colors as well to like a pink, so I'm definitely keeping. I have this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I bought recently. This is the Hot Lips, and this is in the shade Dance Floor Princess. I love the packaging. Not gonna lie, one of the biggest reasons why I bought it was because of the packaging. <laughs> I'm obsessed with leopard and one of my favorite colors is red so perfect and this is like a nude shade it's so so pretty so I'm definitely for sure keeping <laughs> I 
also have a couple of um, lip glosses from the Laura Lee collection. Um, Laura Lee is a YouTuber. If you guys haven't seen her channel, um, she has a makeup company, so I ordered some stuff. This one's called Topless. And it's like a nude, like a pinky nude. Definitely keeping. And then we have Kiss Mix. Which is like a pretty like dark pink. Definitely keeping. I love her packaging too. It's so cute. I also have these. These are newer to my collection. It's also from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Glaze and Bronze collection. And these are all liquid lipsticks. And these are the colors. We have a like a brown, like a tan nude. We have a red and then we have like a pink nude. So definitely excited i also ordered the highlighter palette so maybe i'll use these in a video with that i haven't tried these yet um i also have a dose of colors and disney mini collection here i think this is a liquid lipstick if i'm not mistaken this is the red one it's called boat Bo and this is what it looks like super cute i did gift it my mom the eyeshadow palette because she loves disney and i knew she was gonna like the eyeshadow palette so i gifted that to her but i know that this is not a shade she's going to use so i'm gonna keep this one i also have this collection from ColourPop and from make a wish so this is actually a little girl from the make a wish uh, foundation that her wish was to create her own makeup uh, brand and ColourPop was the one who um, made her wish come true which is amazing and um, I did talk about this in a video a long time ago and um, I don't think this collection is sold anymore but um, she did such a good job it's called Strength and she did such a beautiful job with that collection she created uh, these lip glosses right here they're all nude and then she also created um, some of the shock shadows which I also have those but those are for a different video and um, yeah it's really hard to talk about this because it's really sad but her name was Delilah and um, yeah she did a really 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 good job so I'm definitely keeping um, moving on, we have the Sailor Moon, um, lip gloss collection here. These are very new to my collection. We have the Moonlight and we have the Daylight. So, ColourPop has been restocking these a lot to keep your eyes open. But we have this one right here. This is the, uh, Moonlight collection, which is like a pink and an orange gloss. And then we have the Daylight, which is a pink and a lighter orange. So, I am keeping these for sure. I, I love Sailor Moon. She's my favorite anime, so I'm definitely keeping. <sighs> I also have this Lip Plumper from Urban Decay and the Honey. Um scent or flavor or whatever you want to call it but yeah I am definitely keeping I haven't tried it yet so I'm keeping um I have the elf retro paradise lip gloss and dream on lip gloss definitely keeping I really like the way that that looked on my lips I have this elf high shine liquid lipstick um elf doesn't make these anymore or at least not in this packaging but the color is called bitten pink and i used to love this a lot but ColourPop doesn't make it anymore so um i'm gonna keep because i do like it uh i have the bh cosmetics cashmere cream comfort lipstick um i bought this um during a sale that their website was having i haven't even opened it yet but it's like a pretty red color um, it's called Slay, so can't wait to try it. I also have this LA Intense Color Lip Gloss that I bought at Dollar Tree. This is actually really good. If you guys see these at Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up because they are really good. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Um, I have the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade um, Bow and Arrow, which is like a pretty brown. I got this in my mystery bag that I did. Um, and I also got the shade Requim, 
which is like a pretty like light purple so i am definitely keeping those they are fun colors but i am keeping um then i have the elf and novella nor um i think this is a lip gloss and it's called mayra nude I haven't tried it on my lips yet oh it's actually a liquid lipstick i haven't tried it on my lips yet but it looks really pretty so i am gonna keep it i'm not sure if colourpop is still selling that collection but i'm definitely keeping um i also have a kylie uh a kylie cosmetics lip gloss and coco k um i'm definitely keeping i haven't tried this one on my lips yet and then I have these three little fun lip stuff. Um, I actually got this one from Target. It's the Sorry Not Sorry Red Earth. And actually these look like um, matches. <laughs> so it's like a little book of matches. And then it comes with the little lipsticks. I might try this on a video um, soon or like not soon. But you know, I'll try this in a video. It's kind of like a weird kind of thing. But... Um, I think that'll be fun. And then I have the Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kits. So I have two of these. I have um, this one, which is called Valiant, which is like a purple. And then I have Provoked, which is like a nude. And these, um, like I said, this is like a kit. I thought I had opened one, but it's like a kit. It comes with like two different shades, and you can make that color like you're supposed to put um the purple one on that on the whole lip and then you're supposed to put like the silver one on the middle part of the lip and it creates that metallic type of look so i am definitely dying to try those so i'm definitely keeping so i think that this video is going to be <laughs> um just this because um i still have like four more bins to go through and if i do this video is going to be extremely long so i'm going to save those for uh, part two so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe join our family we are slowly growing but i am so thankful and yeah we'll catch you guys on the next one bye